Hey guys, what's up? It's the Gaming New Stuff here, and it's time to do another Impossible Creatures army building with mods. This time, with commentary. So we're in the Giant Creatures mod again, so we've got all the creatures from all the big mods that you can find out there on uh, mod MD, mod DB and all of that jazz. So, let's get into it. So, we're not particularly going on um, super balanced teams we just want to go on some cool teams you know what I mean so grab the alligator gar I'm thinking and we should also grab the the hmm, let's have a look let's have a look so many creatures to choose from um what's something with decent health that's level one or two so snow leopard let's grab him Oh, it makes it a level 3 creature. Okay. Might go down and grab the. Hmm. Tarantula. Level 4? What? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, I might get rid of him then. This music is really loud. I might actually cancel out of this and turn the music down. Hello. There we go. And back in. So, might search by level. Oh, he doesn't have a, a thing I want him. So, we might actually grab the pistol shrimp. Followed by the snow leopard. Man, everything with a snow leopard just turns into a level 3 creature, doesn't it? God damn it. Okay, we'll go down. Grab the chimpanzee. Ooh, okay. Then we can have a minus 666 attack. <laughs> and rock artillery. We don't want him to be able to swim, so we can build him really quick. Okay, that's the first creature. A pistanzi. <laughs> Next up, in the army building with mods, let's go. Oh man, there's too much to choose from. It's crazy. We'll choose him and a dog. Um, that's a bit boring, to be honest. What about a raven? Can we get rid of his wings? Yeah, that's not bad. Um, could have him flying, but I don't really want him flying. Yeah. Okay. Wait. He can swim? Oh, the dog swims, doesn't it? Okay. That's not bad. Okay, yeah. I like that. The Rav Dog. It's another level 2 creature. Might as well hit up a level 3 now. So, don't want to take too long doing this. So, grab a dolphin. Mainly the whole point of building an army of mods is more to show you guys the mods, not um, to really give you one of the best armies to use. So, if I do that, it makes it level 4. But that looks like shit. So I might change this. Oh, I wonder if this works. Oh, yes. That is what we want. I know that neither of those are the mods, but still. Okay. What's next? Another level three. I'm thinking. We will grab the good old scorpion and put him with a hornbill. That could be interesting. Um. Oh, wow. Okay, so if we do that, he's level 3. That's what we want, isn't it? And then he's got some solid damage, too. A tail makes a big difference. If we choose the body, he gets level 4. And the 
oh, the feet don't make, oh, we get more defense if we switch to those feet, so, and more health, so that is, that is pretty solid for level three, the score pawn, okay, I'm feeling, kind of need level, another level two creature, don't we, cheetah, always good to have some fast movement, might make a, a quick rushing creature, crossed with, Ooh, what's, what's powerful? I wonder if we can get away with this. Oh, that is some solid damage. 44 speed. Level 2, 14 damage. He's going to come in. He's got barrier destroy, leap attack. He's going to wreck any base to start with. That is, that is powerful. Cheetobster. Okay. For the high level creatures, we'll try and get some more mod creatures in there, like the prehistoric wolf. Wolf. And another. Oh, I feel like this is going to be way too. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, no, but the. You need to look at where the damage comes from. Since the prehistoric wolf's damage comes from his face, we need something that comes from not the face. So. Hmm. Let's see, shall we? Condor. Eh, most of it comes from the face. Giraffe. Okay, that could be power. Oh no, it's too much power. Level 5. It's not what we want. Okay, we'll go down. Actually, we don't even need it to be a super high level one. We can grab the... Let's see. What do we want? What has damage that isn't the face? Um, I'm feeling, definitely, definitely, oh, not the badger, it's a bit weak, um, black widow, bite, again, great grey owl, let's give this a go, 29 damage, could make it flying even, that's pretty, pretty powerful, pretty majestic looking, tail, does that make a difference? Oh wow, okay, it gets loner if we give it that tail. Yeah, that is great. Increases the build time by like a hundred, like a thousand, but, you know, make him the prehistory wolf, prehistory. I know it doesn't say that, but what ifs. Um, so, we want another level four creature. I need to come up here and red tiger shark. That is power, if anyone ever asked. With a, oh, I knew that was going to be way too powerful with the tiger. What about... Now we can use the leopard. Man. I feel like this shark's going to be too powerful. You put it with anything and it's just going to be like, Nope, I'm too strong for you, motherfucker. What about the gorilla? Oh, no, we already used the gorilla. Um... Wolverine, Wolverine, Red Tiger Shark. No, okay, we're going to have to get rid of the Red Tiger Shark. He's too powerful for level four. Um, oh, Alien, what am I doing? We definitely got to use the Alien. What? Okay, so if I give him that, he's level four. What about face? Okay, that makes a difference. That makes a big difference. So this way he's got lightning attack, but also some solid damage if someone attacks him. So, yeah, we'll make the Alien Arene. And now we move on to the big boys. No limitations. Level 5 all the way. Now, I'm feeling you always need Kong. Because Kong is power. And then, secondly... Oh, this is, this is difficult, but... I don't want to use the Basilisk. Because it's incredibly like overpowered, even compared to Kong. But... This is just a sh oh no, nah, we had him in the last video, so I might get rid of Kong as well, to be honest, and we'll grab the Diplo blah 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 blah, and the Spinosaurus. So if we give him that tail and that body, okay, so kick is extra damage. It's pretty good, forty nine damage. Um. I don't know, give the kick back, but give that. Do we want deflection armor? Or high endurance? I'm feeling high endurance. And poison touch. Nah, I prefer the extra damage. So, we'll have our Diplodosaurus right here. Save that up. 
And then our last level five epic creature, Omega Ant. Hmm. Tempting. Yeah, I'm feeling my Omega Ant and the Dragon. Ooh, ooh, this could be incredibly powerful. Okay, so do we want him to fly or walk? Oh man, it's a bit... Ah, uh, now nah, I'm feeling we need a different creature. Like... Like the Woolly Mammoth. So that gives him... 23 range damage, 25 melee. Oh, we can get more without range. I like range. Okay, I'm feeling that's our last creature. The Omega Aim Off. So then we've got all of our creatures with minus 666. <laughs> um, here, yeah, all really quite high damage. He's the only one that doesn't have that high melee damage. So, yeah, that's our army. We'll save it as... Army Showcase 2. Analyze, see what we've got. Ooh, okay. Too many research, no research level 1s. Too many high levels, no immune, no hovering, no web throw. Don't need any of that shit. This is a solid ass army, if I say so myself. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the second installment of... Uh, impossible creatures army building with mods let me know if you want to see me battle with this army or build more epic armies with the mods that exist hope you guys enjoyed and peace out I feel like I am